once again welcome to my site it's your buddy here dr fitness i'm preparing some meat so um it's 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 beef of course i've just put in a little salt and did not add any water not added any vegetables yet besides some little garlic and ginger so i'm gonna let it to uh, cook in its own juices and uh, there are once it dries up i'll put in some onions and tomatoes and a few other things but i want you to know there are various methods of cooking meat some are moist like you know stewing or frying and others are dry like like grilling but remember if you choose to grill let the oils drill and drip rather and please don't char the meat that will you know start bringing in other things that can be carcinogenic and it's an advantage to combine your meat with vegetables because the vegetables bring in antioxidants that you know tend to tone down the negative effects from meat some chemicals that i'll not talk about today and the other thing of course the vegetables bring in some extra juices and fiber besides that the other methods like grilling so grilling like charcoal grilling and uh, oven grilling so when you grill of course the fat drips away so your meat becomes less fatty because uh, as we are speaking, it's good to know that red meat intrinsically, even as you trim away the fat, it has a lot of fats. So if you want to be mindful of your calories, it's good to let the fats drip away. And of course, you get some flavor at the meat grills. Uh, the other method, I may not list all of them, but there's also the option of pan frying. But again, when you're pan frying, you're going to add in more oil. But if you want to have less of that, you can just spray the oil on the pan. And uh, it is tricky. In one thing is that you tend to form some some chemicals like uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or heterocyclic amines which have been shown to have the potency for carcinogenesis so to prevent that what you can do is marinate your meat first in either garlic ginger and some vinegar that has been shown to reduce the negative effects of, of the, those chemicals I've talked about and or microwave the meat for about um, six minutes, turning it either side for six minutes. Another way is that uh, you can keep turning the meat as you actually cook it. Those are some ways that have been shown to be of benefit, especially when you're thinking in terms of risk for cancer and protecting your heart. And of course, I'll not leave this segment before I talk about processed meats. You know, you lovers of sausage, ham, bacon, and all that. Hey, let me tell you, WHO, World Health Organization, has, you know, released a statement, I think about two years ago, that actually they definitely increase your risk for colorectal cancer. So, hey, be careful about those ones. Let it be a once in a while kind of tea and keep the portions low. There you go, you know, go study out and try some methods, but be careful and always keep incorporating some vegetables into your meat. Let's meet in the next episode. Keep yourself subscribed to this channel, Dr. Fitness Kenya, and follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and our website, www.drfitness.org. The other platforms is Dr. Fitness Kenya. And of course, that's our logo.